Hey everyone, so ever wondered how some websites just remember your system preferences and change according to it and you don't have to actually uh, set them explicitly to light or dark mode. For example, look at this Tailwind CSS um, site and you can see that we have this nice drop down where we have a light, a dark and also a system mode. And if you have the system mode set up and you have your system, for example, I have this window system and you set it to dark you're going to see that the website automatically becomes dark as well, mimicking your system. So in this video, we're going to build exactly this and I'm going to build it on my Angular dark mode example that I have here. You can see that we have a light dark option here and drop down here using Angular Material version 19. Now, Material version 19 makes this super simple and easy and you, I'm going to let you know that in a bit. But you can see here that we have the system mode set here. If you have the light mode, it's going to force light. If you have the dark mode, it's going to force the dark mode. But if you have the system mode, it's going to wait for your system to actually change to whatever mode it wants and it's going to reflect that, okay? Okay, so this is the starting point of our application which we want to change and we want to add our light, dark and system mode to it. So what's the first thing that we need to do? Well, let's go in our code. I've created a theme service here in which we can actually encapsulate all of our theming functions so that it can be shared across our application. So in the theme service here, I have an interface that I have defined. The app theme This will have a name, for example, light, dark or system and an icon which sort of visually shows us what's active at one time for the icon button and for the menus. So let's just build upon this and let's just create a signal in our service and we're going to call this signal as the app theme. This is going to be a signal and the type is going to be either light, dark or the third thing we want to add is the system option here okay and the default is going to be the system option here, okay okay so this is a signal which contains our the current state of the theme that we have selected so we need to also have the options for our themes here set up so let's do themes and let's give a type of app theme now these will be static because we don't need them to be dynamic they won't be changing so we're going to have light mode a dark mode and a system mode now let's also do a get themes function which is only going to get our themes so that we can use it in our menu on the front end and then we also need to do set theme and this is going to take the name of the theme and we're going to just set the theme to that name okay in fact let's change this type as well it's going to be light dark and system okay great so we have this minimal sort of uh, service which we can use to store our current theme and our state of the theme let's go back to the front end and we have our header component here in which we need to add our icon button and the menu so let's add this here in the toolbar here for example so we're going to add a button here and we're going to call this a matte icon button okay so this is going to reflect the selected theme that we have okay so for selected theme we also need to add another signal here and this signal is going to be computed. So we're going to do selected theme. And this is going to be returned this to themes.find. Theme theme.name is equal to theme.app theme. Not value, but this.app theme. Okay. Because this is going to be the signal's value. Okay. So here then in our mat icon, we're going to do theme service.selected theme.icon. And in case you're wondering, the theme service has already been injected here using the inject function. Okay. So and the selected theme is a signal though so we need to access it like this and then we can refer to the icon here okay so this is fine now we need to add also a matte menu here which is going to show our menu light dark and system so let's call this as a theme menu this is a matte menu to export this as a matte menu and then within this we can have a for loop and this is going to be theme of theme service Dot get themes and then track for the tracking one we can actually use the name because that is a unique thing and then we have a button this is going to be a matte menu item okay and when we click on this button on each of the button what we want is we want to set the app theme so theme service dot set theme and then we're going to give the theme name here okay from our theme services and then here we're going to set the icon which will be the matter icon theme dot icon and the theme name and then also make it title case because it's sort of a lower case when we set it so we want to show it in the form of a title case okay great so this menu seems to be fine let's save this and let's see how this looks let's go back to our this and you can see that we have we can see nothing happens because we haven't sort of linked it up 
with our button here so mat menu trigger four and let's give it the theme menu here okay let's save this again and now you can see that we have our nice menu here light dark and system now light dark is fine but the system icon i want to change this to a bit do something different and let's go there and let's instead of the brightness medium we're going to do this desktop underscore windows okay it just makes it similar to for example the tailwind website okay all right so our ui is all set up now what should happen when we have this current mode here okay so for that we'll need to discuss a bit about the material 19 theming so let's go in my styles.sass here and you can see that currently i'm just using the new theme function the matter theme mixin uh, which actually makes theming really easy so if you want to know more about it in my previous video to this in fact you might see this video in the card above i discuss all about the new matte theme mixin and how it makes it super simple to add angular material themes in version 19 but in our case what we are concerned about here is that how do we add the dark theme and the system dark theme here okay and that also follows from the angular material version 19 changes so in version 19 if you go and look in the theming angular material section in your version 19 documentation official documentation you're going to see that there is a reference to a color scheme light dark here okay so what is this color scheme light dark so basically this matter theme mixin has this feature inbuilt by default okay so if you don't specify which mode you want to the matte theme mixin actually is going to uh, declare both the light and the dark colors and is going to use the light dark css color function in which you can actually specify a light color and a dark color both in the single sort of definition of that specific color so if the system mode is light then it's going to use a light color if the system mode is dark it's going to use the dark color okay and uh, to verify that you can also see and you can go even in the light mode in the normal mode that we have the styles here you can see that matte sys on primary you can see that everything all of the colors are basically declared as a light dark color function instead of a single color value okay so this is by default and this is really nice and light dark is just available in was just available in baseline 2024 so it's widely available you can use it but it's a recent thing so it's really nice that angular material version 19 has this built in okay so we have the light dark under the hood here but to actually activate this you know this switching functionality we need to have a color scheme property declared as well in our css okay so we need to set a color scheme property now if the color scheme property is light dark then it's automatically going to use the system preferences just as we showed okay and when the color scheme is going to be light it's only going to show the light part of the colors even if the dark color is defined as well okay and um, if it's just dark then it's just going to show the dark part of that color declaration that we have in our colors you can set this dynamically and this is going to actually create our light mode our dark mode and our system mode as well all in one okay we're going to go in our theme service and we are going to declare a, an effect here okay so let's um, call this set system theme this is going to be an effect and what it's going to do is first of all it's going to get our app theme here so this will be this dot theme okay then it's going to get our color scheme here derived from that so color scheme is going to be if the app theme is system then we want it to be when we want the color scheme to be light dark okay so that it can switch between that when the system changes but otherwise we just want to keep the same app theme whether it is light or dark okay so a simple switch now all we need to do is we need to do document dot let's add it to the body dot color scheme and we're going to give the color scheme here okay so you have a system mode here let's first check the light mode then the dark mode you can see the dark mode is there and you can now see in the elements here that in the body class you can see our color scheme is changing here and with this color scheme basically our uh, dark colors are being light and dark colors are being switched to okay let's go back to light and then when we go to the system color it's it's light because my system is currently light so i have my settings here open now and in my settings you can see in these are my window settings it's going to work the same in mac so i have light mode now if i make it dark mode you can see that my dark mode automatically changes to dark okay and when i go back to light you can see that it changes back to light great and if i have for example the dark mode on my system and i change to light mode for some reason i want the light mode 
and you can force the light and dark mode in this case it's just like it is on the tailwind css site here okay you can force the light and dark mode here as well but generally this is uh, recommended against that you actually force something which is which the user system does not want usually you want to use the same thing that the user's system is actually set for you okay so this is a very nice little feature that you can add to your Angular Material apps now very easily using the Angular Material version 19 color scheme and light dark CSS color functions. This is just one step further into really making it very easy for you to theme your Angular Material apps in version 19. Okay. So thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. And if you did, be sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, I invite you to subscribe to the channel so that it can reach more people and we can all learn together okay and just in case if you're on the lookout for a nice angular material starter template or a dashboard let me just show you my angular dashboard here quickly i have a nice uh, added to this recently and it's now integrated with firebase you have a nice looking dashboard a customizable dashboard you can change the position of the widgets here dynamically and you can edit the size of the widgets here dynamically you can see here like this and then you can also remove widgets that you don't want on the screen in a sort of a widgets panel which you can activate and deactivate using this okay so this is a nice little dashboard it has um, a dark mode it has a light mode you can have components you have all of the material components here and uh, lastly this also has tailwind css integrated and also the nginx signal store for state management so a lot that is bundled in this angular starter template if you're on the lookout for uh, a starter template you want to get started on your project soon be sure to check this out you will also find a link in the description from which you can get this dashboard okay so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time with another interesting video